Gianni process is actually a very easy process that anyone can do. It's very do-it-yourself friendly and you know you've rolled on your primer, you've sponged on your minerals, you've got this great looking countertop and you're ready to apply your clear top coat. However, applying the clear top coat with the roller is not exactly like rolling paint onto a wall. There is a little bit of a technique to it and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Before you begin, apply a thin coat to your edges. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is make sure you get your roller fully saturated. You do not want to dry roll your countertop. That will leave dull spots. So once you get that saturated, roll that out. See, we already need to get a little more on there. If you hear that rolling sound, that kind of dry rolling sound, that means you don't have quite enough on there. So that's a nice, nice rolling sound there. Just a very light rolling sound. Now the trick when you're doing the countertop is you don't want to back roll after the product has started to dry. And when you are doing your initial back roll, you want to keep pressure on your leading edge of your roller. So I'm exaggerating it right now, but see how that is? So when you're doing that back roll, keep the pressure on the leading edge. That way you're moving your lap line ahead of you all the way down to the end of your countertop. As you can see, there's no lap line where I just completed that application. One of the complaints that we get occasionally is that, oh, I've got, it's my countertop is absolutely beautiful, but I've got these lap lines from when I applied the clear top coat. Or I've got dry dull spots from where I applied the clear top coat. And that's because either back roll it when it had started to dry, which doesn't take long, or didn't apply pressure on the leading edge when you were doing your back roll. So we'll just work ourselves all the way down the countertop, keeping that pressure on the leading edge. See? You don't want to you don't want to take too long to do this. You don't want to stop and answer the phone or be sure you use the restroom before you start because you you want to uh, you know you want to work efficiently because you, you the key is really just to keep a wet edge. That's that's really all you're doing, and and really anyone that's painted much will understand what I'm talking about when I say to keep a wet edge. Yeah, I would also recommend if you happen to have a uh, ceiling fan that you have it turned off while you're putting your top coat on because you don't want it to dry any faster than the product would dry on its own because what you're doing is you're giving the product open time which means time for it to flow and level out so that you get that nice glass finish that you're that you're looking for Just remember, be sure and keep plenty of product on there. I mean, of course, you don't want so much that you're leaving puddles on your countertop, but you need enough on that you don't hear that dry roll sound. probably want to work in about two roller width sections because if you get any farther down past two roller lengths it could start to dry and then that's when you're going to get the uh, dry dull spots. So just do about two roller lengths and then keep the leading pressure, remember pressure on your edge, on your leading edge 
when you do a quick back roll, just to smooth it out and get rid of the excess. That's all you're doing on that little back roll. But it has to still be wet. section and we'll have a perfect glass finish on our top. Now that you've completed your countertop, there's one more thing you need to do. After you finish your last back roll, don't put any more product on your roller, but go around your edges and just real lightly roll them out, okay? Just in case you got a little bit of a run that came down from your countertop, then you'll get rid of that and you'll be putting just another little light coat on there. Okay, now let's say that you got down your countertop, you saw a lap line, and you still went back and rolled it, even though you shouldn't do that, when the whole thing dries, you're going to have a couple of dull areas. You're going to have dry roll dull areas. That's okay too. It can be fixed. It's no problem. Same thing as your lap lines. You simply take 600 grit sandpaper, sand back over that and get it good and smooth, wipe it down, put your clear coat on, follow the process just like we showed you, be good as new. And that's all it takes to have a perfect countertop finish.